Hi everybody, this is Alan Fine. I am here with Joanne Taylor Stagg, the new general manager of, and Stephen Fox, director of sales of, if you look behind us, the Athenaeum in London, in Mayfair, right? And this is Insider Travel Report. The Athenaeum isn't new but you have some new news. Let's talk about it historically and then, then hit them with what's going on. I guess we're super lucky because the hotel has this real rich depth of history, but it's also been completely redone, so super modern. So it started its journey as an aristocrat's house. Uh, then it did a little sojourn as a gentleman's club. Oh. And then it was bought by the rank organization so that they could host all of their talent when they were filming in London. Mm -hmm. um, so we've, we've always had a really you know, amazing depth of stories and things that we can, we can draw in, a real uh, wonderful history. Um, but we're also very modern because we have just spent the last well, nearly a year, I guess, refurbishing the hotel from top to bottom. How much was spent, do you know? Oh, way too much to tell. <laughs> um, but absolutely every single inch of the, the building has been redone. And we've just finished almost three weeks ago, so very hot off the press, um, our fabulous residences. And what's lovely about the residences is it gives our guests the beauty of staying in your own apartment with your own front door and your own key but also all of the benefits of being in a hotel. So room service, Michelin starred chefs, um, food, you know, housekeeping, the works, but also with the total independence of living in your own place. Mm -hmm. So um, is it, does the room count, did it change or is it the same? It's actually gone down by two, which is very unusual. More space. More space. Mm -hmm. um, so we were, we were mindful that one of the lovely things about the hotel is that it feels really cozy and small and a lot smaller than the 162 bedrooms right. that we have. It feels more like it's a 50 or 60 bedroom um, hotel. But we we're also mindful that because of that, our lobby is, is a little on the, on the bijou side. Right. And we wanted to ensure that our guests had this generosity of spirit. And so we took the, the top floor, so our penthouse suite, right. and we've turned it into the most spectacular uh, exclusive residence lounge I guess uh, with views all over London it is absolutely spectacular and a great place if you've got some guests coming in early in the morning you know their flight arrives we may not have a room it's not a problem they can go up we have a full shower suite so they can freshen up and then they can go and sit plan their day do a little bit of work if need be um, looking out over your know, Green Park which is literally across the road um, so it's, it's... And what's just past Green Park? Oh, Buckingham Palace. Oh, yeah. not, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Uh, yeah, the Queen often pops in for tea. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's a great space. Let's so, talk about your F&B. Sure. So the Galvin brothers are two British chefs, mm -hmm. two brothers, obviously. Okay. Uh, they, they have um, pretty much worked in all of the best London restaurants and under a number of French chefs. So I have this classical French training, but with a real passion for British fare mm. and British products. Mm. So, and what we love about working with them is because our hotel is family owned and family is really important to us, mm -hmm. working with another family of such great mm -hmm. credibility mm -hmm. um, just felt like the perfect match. So we didn't want necessarily all of the pomp and ceremony that goes with Michelin star. Mm -hmm. We wanted to be much more in keeping with the hotel, which is a bit more luxurious, but relaxed. Mm -hmm. But we absolutely wanted all of the quality that goes with the ingredients and the skill to deliver it. So how would you describe the, the uh, culinary? It is modern British. And I think it's, it's, what's great about it is it appeals to a number of people. We have a lot of signature British dishes, but also with you know, the, the layers of influence that London is so famous for. We have, you know, so many right. influences and right. those are all reflected in, in our menu. 
Were there advisors who talked about the types of foods they would want? Yeah, I mean, not just the foods, but the whole product. Everything we do with the Athenaeum is driven uh, by the feedback we get from the guests and also the travel industry. The travel industry is a very important part of our business, and which is why we commit to having a salesperson based in the States throughout the whole year. We get over 50% of our business um, from the travel industry, so um, their feedback is very important. So, um, yeah, the food we offer in the restaurant. We, we host uh, agent stays at the property, um, and on the back of those stays, we get feedback from them on how their stay's gone, whether we need to develop ideas like a, a kid's concierge, which we do, um, whether we develop a package like the US dollar rates, which we have, um, how fast we pay commissions, um, and things like that. So it's invaluable. Okay. Yeah. An important issue today is sustainability. How mm -hmm. is the Athenaeum dealing with that? We've reduced our carbon footprint by 10% in the last three years. It's really important to us, and it affects every area of the hotel. Starting with when you arrive at the hotel, you just have to look up at the 260 meters of landscape vertical garden that we put on the side of the hotel that runs off the rainwater, and it's um, and it's a fantastic piece of, uh, of art on the side of the building. We have. Um, also uh, created our own, uh, got our own composter. So all the stuff out of the kitchen that needs to be composted, we compact that in, in the area, actually outside my office, but anyway. Um, <laughs> and yeah, that's, that's, that's something we've only just started as well, so that's an exciting new development as well. Um, in addition to that, the, um, when you think of all the, 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 the items in the rooms, the amenities in the room, the, the, uh, the, the soaps and things like that, we recycle all of those as well. So um, yeah, they go off to a, a charity as well and they're reused. Um, so yeah. So let's talk about the, the, the hidden Mayfair. Mm -hmm. we, we talked about the park and the uh, palace. Mm -hmm. What else? Stephen, do you want to do this one? Uh, well, there's, um, we can arrange for private tours of Burlington Arcade, the behind the scenes, behind the shops tours, mm -hmm. so we can take you to the, the lower basement area to show where they used to dispatch the shopping that people in horses and carriages used to uh, buy. Um, we can take you with, with guides at Node London like nobody else. Um, yeah, people are looking for something a bit different now. They're looking for something beyond to go into the deep dive. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, so you, you can do that. We can do that. No problem at all. Yes. Um, so a part of the history. Uh, let's talk about the celebrities. <laughs> well, I guess that's the, the the truly amazing thing is just, there's so many stories to tell. Um, we one of my personal favourites is that. Um, just opposite the hotel is a disused uh, tube station, Down Street station. And uh, during the Second World War, Winston Churchill was evacuated to Down Street station uh -huh. during, you know, during the, the, the Blitz. Um, but Churchill, being a man of um, incredible character, shall we say, um, didn't like going to Down Street station because he said it was cold and dark and damp. So he would come into our bar drink champagne and smoke cigars until he could hear the aeroplanes and then he'd walk over the road and go down into the station. So we have everything from that really you know, uh, iconic um, history to all sorts of celebrities. So Lauren McCall um, lived in the hotel and we now do work with um, uh, Stephen Bogart, his son, and we um, have a, a range of Bogart um, spirits that he's made specially for the hotel through to Steven Spielberg, who, um, when he stayed in the hotel, actually edited E.T. and Raiders of the Lost Ark in the residences. So it's amazing to be able to say that, yeah, I'm a child of um, an E.T. generation. Knowing that that film was edited in my hotel just fills me with absolute wow, wow and glee. Yeah. Um, through to, yeah, to current um, celebrities, we had... Uh, Kim Kardashian not that long ago. It, it's an on, it's an ongoing story. <laughs> yes. Um, all right, so now um, I just want to let you know that you two are not the only representatives of the Arthenaeum here. Um, I have something. Uh, I actually have revealed that uh, I have been there before, Arthur. and this is Arthur Nea. It is Arthur Nea. It's an original one. But that is an original one. We He's actually have an, a, an, a, a, a newer version with a, a, a different uh, a different look. In fact, we well, had... Well, my wife reminded me that we had this and <laughs> yeah. said, bring it down today. So, old Arthur Nea, meet new Arthur Nea. Oh. Let's wrap up by just, is there anything you want travel advisors to know? 
Um, from my point of view, they're a really important part of our business. You know, we want to continue working with them and we want to support them wherever we can. Um, we've got this year some great ideas in terms of enhanced commissions on certain categories of rooms. Um, we want to come and see the hotel because we believe see, seeing is believing. Um, so come and visit us and make the Athenaeum your London home. And I guess from my perspective, I think what's really fabulous about our hotel is the level of service and I think when you are trusting us with your guests you can be rest assured we're going to look after them from Jim our doorman who has um, yeah. Jim uh, <laughs> who's worked with us for over two decades and Jim has a photographic memory so he'll remember me and he, yeah, my he, wife and he is phenomenal I cannot <laughs> believe what he remembers he really is spectacular so you know we will absolutely look after you if there's anything that the guests need um, yeah, we do personalized amenities, kids concierge, pretty much anything. We really pride ourselves on making sure that we treat every guest that stays with us as if they were a member of our own family, because family is important to us. Okay. Thank you both for speaking with us. No, thank, thank you very much, very much for you. having us. Thank you. thank you. And this is Ellen Fine for Insider Travel Report.